morning. Welcome back to Veggie Plot. Uh, today we're going to be doing another harvest. <laughs> there are so many things coming quick and fast now. Uh, lots of tomatoes, cucumbers, gherkins, um, all sorts of things. Uh, I also want to show you how the melons are coming along and these lovely striped Armenian. But first, quick cup of tea and then we'll get on. We're doing okay so far. We've got some lovely lucid gem tomatoes here. Look at this one. This is an absolute beauty. Uh, one or two of the others are cat-faced, but they'll taste delicious. And they're really ripe now. They're just sort of slightly soft and go in this lovely golden color. So pleased with them so far. But now I want to pick some of these gherkins. I don't know if you can see them just about maybe. So I'm just going to snip off a few of these. These are really prolific. I'm, I can't get over, I'm harvesting them more or less every every other day at the moment. But yeah, look at these. Aren't they stunning? One, two, three. Uh, there's some more here, but as before, taking off the flowers. Uh, and before I pickle them as well, I've been snipping cutting these ends off just they don't want to put them in the jar apparently it makes the stuff uh, the pickle soft right that's those three let's see what else we've got knocking and breaking everything four <sighs> yeah looking really good another four as i said before these are partner they're an f1 gherkin uh, growing really well. I've got three plants there and they were planted on the 24th of April according to the label. So yeah, we've had lots and lots. So that's uh, four lovely gherkins uh, on top of the other three. So that's seven. That's uh, good. Right, what I want to do now is I want to harvest these absolutely delicious. I had the first one the other day, Black Beauty tomatoes really really nice i can recommend them anyway let's have a quick look so i want to show you before i cut them off the vine let's go under there so yeah they're hanging really low on the plants so the truss has come out really early but look at the color on that it's beautiful sort of mahogany sort of orangey red this one wonderful so i think these three are ripe and i've got another one up here to harvest as well have that one Look at that, it's an absolute stunner. You can smell the tomatoiness of it. <laughs> Even got a bit of flour on. Anyway, put that in the basket and we'll harvest these others as well. Two, three. This is the biggest, but yeah, look at, look at these. Aren't they gorgeous? Stunning. I used to think that, um, yeah, a few years ago I was just growing blight resistant tomatoes because we have such bad blight down here in Cornwall and uh, yeah I mean they were good the uh, crimson blush I like the biggest the big beefsteak ones they were the best uh, crimson crush were very productive and produced loads but it's not so good a flavor but yeah these heritage varieties just absolutely stunning so much flavor in them when you go in the supermarket and all you get is those little red tomatoes you know with no flavor and that's what would give you a side salad to pubs it's no wonder people hate salad is it anyway these get a chance to grow them worth a try see if you like them i thought i'd found all the black beauties but it turns out i hadn't i've got another three here so i'm just going to nip these off no, even more just great right put these in here we're gonna have some lovely big toasty slice of sandwiches I think the next few days so one two last one with this break yep it's separated quite nicely not as big but smells delicious right put that in there as well right next thing I want to harvest is uh, these lovely uh, honeycomb tomatoes anyway so I've just picked some here absolutely gorgeous little orange 
globes of sweetness. Uh, they're surprisingly tomatoey too, so we'll just put these in the basket and then I'll get on and harvest some more. Comb done. Uh, in here is one of the Ladiva cucumbers, which hasn't really produced, they haven't produced that many, as many as I'd hoped. But this one is a corker, so let me just show you. So let's just see if we can twiddle this, snap it off. There we go. Look at that, absolutely perfect. They're not a big cucumber, just a little. Um, sandwichy small cucumber which is great much more manageable so really enjoying these uh, when we do get them we're just not getting that many <laughs> so right let's put that up there i think there are a few more to come uh, some down here in the back and in there so they're on their way but they've just taken an ordinate long time to get get to this stage which i'm just going to move that one so it's hanging down not trapped on the railing uh, on a weld mesh yeah, and they're beginning to trail through the tomatoes, which I don't think is probably a good idea. Probably need to get them back onto the weld mesh. Or it's all going to get too damp and congested in there. Anyway, next thing is some um, cucumbers over here, the Atarchis. They haven't done that well either compared to last year, but I've got a couple in here, misshapen ones, which <laughs> need to come off. There's one. Oh. So yeah, they grew rather odd to start with, but now they've uh, fattened up a bit. So just chop that end bit off. Hopefully they're not going to be bitter. So I'm just giving it a twiddle and then snip it off. Yeah, it's okay. Right, put that one in the basket. The ends are a bit funny, aren't they? <laughs> not ideal, but they'll be all right. And then we've got some more coming, this one here which is looking quite nice. Uh, and then we've got a couple around this side, which are how I would expect them. Definitely a lot better. So there's two there, one there, and hopefully we'll get some more at some point, but yeah, not proving to be the best this year. Last year they were brilliant. There's a few of these which are feeling soft, but I'm aware that if you pick these uh, Brad's Atomic Grape a bit too early, they're not all that wonderful, but I don't know, it's just, I just, these colours are just beyond belief, really. <laughs> Tomatoes aren't just red. They're just extraordinary. Next things to get hold of are some of these um, lovely cherry tomatoes. They're the brandy wine. And there are quite a few coming on the vines back here. So I'm just going to dive in there and get them. You don't need to see me doing that, I don't think. The last few things I want to get today are some more of these meat along beans, uh, or snake beans, I think they're also called. Uh, but yeah, they've done, they've done very well this year. Um, but I want to make sure I get them before, as I said before, before they get too long uh, and get too chunky. Then they start forming the beans inside. They're not as tender. Anyway, look at those. And you can see how long they are. It's the enormous. <laughs> right, so I'm going to harvest most of these, if not all of them today. This is what we've got. And I've got some more on the other side, which I'll show you in a minute. But yeah, not bad, huh? Crazy. Right, let's just put these in the basket. Uh, I'm going to leave this one here actually. It's beginning to really chunk up and the beans are forming inside. So I'm going to leave that one for potentially next year's seeds. There we go. Slightly different, gone a bit paler. Uh, and you can tell the beans are forming inside, but I should chop these up and freeze them. Um, yeah, and they should be fine. Right, put these in the basket too. I think the last thing is 
probably some basil so I've got lunch today so just gonna nip the tips out of these just to make them bush out a little more you take the tips rather than the leaves it just makes the plant create more and more leaves by sort of growing from these side shoots so I just take the tips out yeah, lovely. I've got all this Greek basil as well, so I might have a bit of that. But let's just put that in there. This is really nice. It's not as strong and a lot smaller, but it makes these lovely sort of bushy, sort of moundy plants. Really nice. Right, let's put that in there. Yeah, not a bad little harvest. It's getting rather hot in here and I'm almost, almost done. But I just want to show you, yeah, the melons and these uh, striped Armenian cucumbers. Look at this. <laughs> this is a striped Armenian. This is going a bit curly. Last year they were a lot straighter, but look at that. Amazing. This one's interesting. Uh, these are the best though, look. They're right the way up. <laughs> With the longest one at the back, which now must be, I should think, a good 70 centimetres long, I think. Just needs to fatten up a little bit. Really pleased with how the uh, striped Armenians are coming on. I think we're probably going to get about four, four or five off there this year. And the other thing to show you were the melons. So these are the watermelons. These are coming on. I'm not sure. I might take this little one off because there are two on this plant. I think it might be hampering that one. But they're, they're not growing quite as big as before, which is a shame. This one in here is, though, this one's perfect. This one's I put in a some tights hanging up to help support it and then we've got a smaller one here which is getting bigger slowly and this one too so I think we've probably still got another what another couple of months I would think well we've got August September so they'll be ready I should think month month and a half hopefully uh, but the last ones I wanted to show you are the Picasso melons look look at this it's coming on it's a uh, good sort of cricket ball so size that one and then we've got another one back here a bit smaller bit the size of a lemon that one and then I think these up the top here might have pollinated so we might have a couple more coming but it really is a bit late in the season for them and I'm not sure if they're going to ripen in time but fingers crossed you never know right well, that's the harvest for today um, rearranged it a little bit just so I can show you in the picture but yeah, really pleased with that. That's been a, a nice little harvest. So we've got these snake beans or meter long beans around the edge. Uh, we've got the gherkins at the top. Uh, Brad's Atomic Grape Tomatoes. Absolutely love these. Perfect they are. Um, a nice little cucumber. Some Black Beauty tomatoes, basil, uh, cherry brandy wine tomatoes. These absolutely gorgeous honeycombs. They're lovely. Um, some lucid gems on the side here, the yellow ones, and then I did actually pick a few sun gold, which actually I did try one, it was really ripe and it, it was quite an amazing flavour, but I still prefer the honeycomb. Okay, I hope you've really enjoyed that one today. Uh, it's been good showing you around how things are coming along. Uh, I think the next video might be in the greenhouse. Uh, I want to show you what's growing in there, the tomatoes and chilies in there, and then we'll pop up to the allotment because uh, we've got a few things to finish up there, but yeah been really lovely morning and a really great harvest okay as always if you've got something from this please do like subscribe and hit the bell notification button that'd be great okay lovely to see you see you soon bye for now